everybody, welcome to Outdoor Gear Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to replace, hopefully, a broken valve on a Neo Air X-Therm Thermarest sleeping pad. Now this is a fantastic pad. It's probably my favorite pad that I've ever owned, while well, I'm in Minnesota, because it's so dang warm. It's got a 6.9 R value, and 6.9, I mean, I, I throw this thing on snow and I wake up in the morning, I pull it off, and there's nothing melted underneath it. So it's, it's a fantastic pad. The only problem is on the maiden voyage, I brought this thing out. This is what happened. I uh, attached the pump sack onto the pad, and then I started to pump it up, and when I went to detach the pump sack, it wouldn't come off. So I started pulling a little bit harder. It still wouldn't come off. And they, they make this out of a hard plastic, and so when it attaches on and it's cold, it gets really hard, really tough to maneuver. And I pulled really hard, and pop! The, it ripped the cover of the valve right off. And so now I'm sitting with a, a valve on a mattress without the cover, or, you know, I can't close the valve anymore. Contacted Cascade Designs, let them know what happened. And now they sent me out a, a repair kit with a new valve, so I'm gonna try to put this new valve on. Um, just as a caveat, I, I've had this pad before, I had the narrow version, and they used to make this pad with a rubberized plastic here, and it was really soft and supple, and so you could put it on the pad, clung on beautifully, pull it right off, no problems. For some reason, they switched over to this hard plastic, and I mean, you're, you're, you're branding this as a winter pad, and you're putting a hard plastic on the inflation bag, not a good idea. Well, I contacted Cascade Designs, and they said, well, we'll send you out a replacement valve. But I, I asked them, I said, well, I am going to put the new valve on, but it still didn't solve the problem because this is still hard plastic and um, it'll just rip the new valve off after I put it on, right? And their response was, well, this is the only kind of bag, or this is the only inflation sack that we have, unless you wanna buy this kind of a uh, custom one that they build and, or that they make and it's like $39.99. And I let them know, I said, I, I had another version of this with the softer rubberized coupling and they just basically said, we don't know what you're talking about. So uh, go figure and uh, I'm gonna show you how, hopefully, how to mitigate the problem of this being way too tight of a fit as well. Let's get on with it. First of all, I need to get the old valve out here. <clears throat> and you can see how tight of a fit that is, right? So we'll get that out. And that's this piece right here. And what it did is, it just pulled right through and you can see where it just ripped right through the plastic coupling right there. Now I need to get this old one out because I'm going to have to put this one in. Give it a pull here, and there goes a single pop, but you got to get it past the gasket here. So we're going to have to pull a little bit harder. I'm going to try to hold onto this part right here. I don't want to hold onto the bag and rip through it because this bag might be a little finicky in that sense. <clears throat> All right, there we go. And you can see that's the gasket that kind of blocks the air in so it doesn't escape. So now that we've got the old one out, I'm going to take the new one and they give you a little bit of this lubricant here. And I think a little dab will do you. Like that. Put this one in here. And you wanna line it up so when you put this on, these right here are going to go down right here and over here. Put that there, squeeze, and it pops into place. I'm gonna test this out, open that up, close it. Test this out, the lock valve, open it up and close it, and there you go. Now to solve this problem here, because remember, this is too tight of a fit, and it's just going to break off the new cap if I let it. What I've decided to do is get out this bad boy right here, and what, I, <laughs> what I'm doing is just gently, gently, this is key word here, gently, at least scraping around the edge like this. Now I know this is uh, not ideal because but there's probably like an 80% chance that I'm gonna slip and puncture into the bag and cut the bag open. But, what do you do? You just gotta work with what you've got. That seems to be a little more reasonable now. Like I can get it on and off with little effort, but it's still a secure and snug companionship there. So I think we're in business. Okay, everybody, hopefully that helps and helps get your pad back on the trail. I'll be interested to see 
how many people actually access this video and take a look at it because um, I'm going to make this I'm going to make this guess that I'm not the only one that's had this problem and I'm not going to be the only one that does have this problem so I don't, I don't know what Thermarest wants to do with this one but um, don't, don't hold it against the pad pad is excellent I mean if you really need to and you're worried about you know a bad valve just play the bellows with a trash bag like you're um, a Scottish bagpiper or something and fill it up that way uh, the, the pad is a great pad all right guys uh, hopefully we'll keep your pad out of the landfill and keep it on the trail see ya